Hi everyone, this is Engariski from Indonesia and welcome back to my video in YouTube. In this video, we're gonna to learn something new which is WebView in the Android Studio. So if you are working in the WebView which is the hybrid application such as the iOS, Android or browser, so you can use the WebView into the Android. So you don't need again to create the native application but you can just make one website and then you can access it from the iOS, from the Android. So this is the web view working in the Android. Well, I'm gonna to show you how to make the web view right now. So check it out. All right, but uh, before we create new Android Studio project that I will show you how the web view working properly in the browser. So currently I'm use the Google Chrome and this is my personal blog that you can visit, which is garudapixel.com. And I will click here by inspect and you will get the new test right here which is in the right and if you click this this is for the responsive website design so we click here and the view web view should be like this so maybe we already have Nexus 5 and this is our application Android sorry our Android application uh, all right, so we're going to the Android here to create new project. I will give the name which is the my personal site and next next and here you should use the empty activity next and finish. Okay, I think it's done. Well, we're going to the activity main. As you can see, our first layout, this is the concern layout that I will change it to the relative because I will work in the relative layout. And here, we're going to the areas and values and styles. And I don't need this action bar. And going back to the styles again. And the color primary, we're going to the colors and change it to the 4A, 4A, and 4A. Like this. So the status bar color should be black like this and I'm going to remove the text view and going to change to web view, match parent and match parent and I will make it more simply by like this and don't forget to put the ID my personal site like this okay now I'm going to the main activity to give the function which is web view and here don't forget to setting the variable which is web view and this is my personal site okay and string for the URL cool now first I'm going to setting the URL to the HTTPS because I'm use the secure cell which is SSL and garudapixel.com and then setting the my personal site with view rid my personal site and then we need to setting the javascript because my personal site use the javascript so set javascript is true because the value is boolean which is true and false and then my personal site load URL which is URL here coming from here okay and then my personal site set view web client and when web view client and then you just need to run this application into the emulator all right maybe you will got the notice which is like this make sure you have data connection but if you are looking for your wi-fi it's connecting right now so the problem is we're going to the manifest and here we need to allow the android to use our internet so use sorry internet just like this and you just need to run again into the emulator Okay, so this is my personal site which is blog.garudapixel.com and you can click, click and click. Okay, I will open something here 
maybe this one okay and this is the wall of article so I got the video here that you can watch it and then you can read my article here everything is okay well I think it's useful if you are using the web view because you can use it into Android or you can use it into the iOS or use the responsive web design into browser which is uh, such as the Google Chrome or Opera or Mozilla well thanks everyone for watching my video nice to meet you from Indonesia goodbye